So the University of North Carolina has hired Hubert Davis um, to become their new basketball head coach. He's supposed to be the fourth um, African-American coach they've ever had in the university's history. Well, I want you to hear him talk about that. And But toward the end is what got a lot of people's ears raised. And I have to talk about this. Let's go ahead and roll that clip. It is significant, Steve. It, it, it's significant that I'm African-American and I'm the head coach here. It, it's significant. Um, I know that in terms of Division I head coaches all around the country, only 26% of the head coaches for Division I men's basketball are compromised by minorities, specifically African-Americans. I know that it is significant that I'm the fourth African-American head coach in any sport in the history of the University of North Carolina. I'm very proud to be African-American, but I'm also very proud that my wife is white. And I'm very proud that my three beautiful, unbelievable kids are a combination of both of us. Now the brother was talking about basketball and being proud to be, you know, African-American and all of that. And that's true. When it comes to division one sports, the majority of the coaches is not black people at all. It is Caucasian. Now it's amazing how all the players is mostly for the most part, black people. And you don't see the majority of coaches being black people. Same thing with the NFL. Um, same thing with the NBA. It, it's like that, right? Uh, they want to make sure to keep, you know, the coaches Caucasian. Now they said that long time ago in some other, you know, publication when they seen all the black people coming into different sports and they say, Oh no, we got to make sure that they have white coaches that they take over the whole leagues that they say this long time ago, but that is an issue to talk about in sports, right? Is that the brothers can, can play, you know, and, and shoot a ball, run a ball, anything else with a ball, but you can't coach anything. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying, or you want to get down to the politics of sports, like uh, something like let's say football, you know, the brothers can be wide receivers. Brothers can be running backs. Why the brothers can't be quarterbacks. You know what I'm saying? Why it's so far and few in between black quarterbacks. You know, we so athletic or everything else. We can't throw a football. A lot of that's done by design too, you know, but that's, that is a totally different video. Well, let's get for more into what he's talking about here. So yes, what he's saying is true. But when he got toward the end, he said, I'm proud that my wife is white. But I'm also very proud that my wife is white. Now, why can he say I'm proud to have a good wife that supports me and what I'm doing? That wouldn't have been an issue. He could have said, I'm proud because, you know, I have a, a great family, um, you know, and that's an accomplishment today considering the divorce rates. And uh, that would have been cool too. He racialized his family on national TV for no reason, unless his mindset is this. You do have some, some people out there, male and female that feel that they have accomplished something within their mind. If their spouse is white and, this, and uh, white folks ain't got nothing to do with what I'm talking about. I'm talking about those black people. Like you have not made, you have made it upon mating it when you marry somebody white. Okay. And oh my God, that's just the, the grand, you, you made it in America. If you can do that. Now, sure. People, you know, names will be called, you know, of course, all kind of names are going to be called, you know, bed, winch, bed, book, you know, Sambo, coon, all the different names people will say, but after all the names are called, this dude was serious with this. He, 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 and he said that he's also proud that his children is a combination of the two. And I'm very proud that my three beautiful, unbelievable kids are a combination of both of us. Not say I'm proud of my children that, you know, come from a loving household, from a great marriage. He didn't even mention his wife's name. He just said her color is what means more to me than anything else. And that's an issue that that's an issue. And that's a mentality that he's literally probably teaching his children that, oh my God, because I got, my wife is white. 
all oh God, it's just the best thing ever. And usually with that mentality, if he have a son or a daughter, they're going to do the same thing because he's teaching them that, you know, you don't have value as black people. Now he goes on all this. He's proud to be black and seeing how black people are discriminated against. But then when it gets to the part of, of, of marrying, then, Hey, I am so proud because of my wife is white. He had to say white. He just had to say it because nobody asked him about that. And that is a mentality with some black folks. It is, you know, people marry who they want to marry. I don't get involved with any of that. But when, I'm, when you say something like this though, and that mentality, I'm going to tell you, you marrying a white person, male or female doesn't mean anything in this system. It doesn't. When you engage them police, when Hubert Davis engaged in police, his white wife won't be able to save him from anything. He's still a black man in America, period. Matter of fact, he may anger some people because of that relationship that he has. You know, some of them are like, you better not be out here flaunting it like that. Now, what does his wife being white has to do with anything with coaching college basketball? Nothing. But he just, he felt that's a, an accomplishment to him to obtain a white woman. And that, that is not an accomplishment, sir. That is not an accomplishment. Now getting a good woman, that's an, okay. And building a family with a good woman. Yes. But if she was black, would you to say it? I married a black woman. Would you to say it that I, I don't know if you would have emphasized that your wife is black. Cause I've never heard, I would never would even imagine you saying that it wouldn't even make sense. People could also look up pretty sure who you and your wife are, but brother, it's not an accomplishment of marrying a white woman, brother. It is not an accomplishment at all. You're not going to get no special prize. You're not going to get no special protection. You're not going to be able to opt out of white supremacy, treating you like a black man. You know, you can't opt out no matter what you can't. So please get that out your head. No matter who you are, especially you as a black man, you're never going to be able to opt out. Well, black women either, but you just cannot opt out of what this system that you live in because maybe your little circle is cool with you and your wife and your children. Fine. But the moment you get around some real white supremacists, the ones that went to that capital, right? The ones that's, that's saying, make America great again. They're going to let you know real quick what you are. And you'll find out. You'll find out real quick. You can start getting some hate emails and let, let the team start losing and all of that. They're, they're so that you know real quick what you are, even though you married to a white woman. Well, I'm going to say this once again, it's not an accomplishment for you to marry no, no, no white woman. It is not whatsoever, but let me know guys, you know, the comment section, you know, you let me know if it's an accomplishment for him to do this. And he's so proud of that. And, you know, not like once again, I'm going to say this much. He didn't say he was proud to have a good wife, a good marriage, a good family. No, he made sure to say that my wife is white. Like that was just an accomplishment on top of breaking a barrier for black men in sports.